Aries, hello and welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, let's just dive right in Aries. And what we do here is we, we divide the uh, reading into, into sections. Um, so we will look at the overall energy for the month of November uh, for the sign of Aries before we then look at your emotional core, which is about, you know, trauma that can go, um, love that comes in, all that kind of stuff, before we finally look at opportunities. And opportunities, for the most part, are about what sustains you financially. All that said, meet you meets the guy in the middle, I only work here. Whatever the guides say, I will say, if that makes sense. Right? So, with no further ado, Aries, are you ready? Here we go. So, for the overall energy this month, you have the dolphin. And for your emotional core, you have the rabbit. And lastly, for opportunities, you have the monkey. I work as Native American guides and spirit animal guides, so don't let these terms uh, confuse you. The first thing that the guides are saying to you for the month of November um, is two things. Number one, it's the 11th month. 11 is the highest number there is. It's a master number. And so being in November literally automatically allows for that month to have a really, really high energy. Therefore, whatever it is you want to manifest has a much better chance of coming into, into fruition this very month. But Aries, because you have the dolphin, there's a couple of things that are, that are important here for you to, to realize. Number one, unless you really show how you truly feel, it is going to be very difficult for you to claim your space, to manifest what is yours, because if you are overly polite, if you are too understanding and you are not showing people uh, the boundaries that they obviously should have, then life will remain difficult. Really, really important. Now, the other side of the dolphin is obviously, um, you have heard this before, they're super social. Um, to the extreme, where they have been reported to help uh, a dolphin that can't swim up to the surface to let him breathe, which also could mean that they uh, um, stay up there too long. So the point is, there's a part of you that is very, very caring and sometimes sometimes it can be to your detriment. So what the guides are saying is, just because you have that, that in you, remember that you are Aries. You are the first sign of the zodiac. So therefore you start at zero degrees. There's nothing in front of you, which is why it is sometimes difficult for you to ask for, um, to ask for, for help if that makes sense. And while, hey sweetie, well you can't really see it, uh, but off camera here, my cat is showing up. Hey, so what, what, what the guides are saying is, remember you're Aries. So you are the sign of the, the doer, the sign that drives things. Um, so be the doer, but also be as determined as your sign makes you. Really, really important. Remember all your strengths. Super, super, super important. Okay. Oh, I wish you could see Molly, but she doesn't like to really be picked up, so I'm not, not doing it to you. Mm -hmm. So, moving on from your um, overall energy for the month of November 2022, now we're looking at your emotional core, and you have to wrap it. And it's interesting because I told you already that when it comes to your um, opportunities, you have the monkey, and this rabbit here in the middle about your emotions feels very much like a thing of the past. And the monkey, which is the, um, the animal guide that comes after it, depicts the past. So this is uh, the first clue for you that, that what holds you back or what needs to be released are issues of the past. The rabbit is saying to you, look at all these rabbit holes. Are you okay, Molly? Look at all these rabbit holes, uh, each hole is an entire ecosystem of its own. 
each rabbit hole leads to a new destination and you can explore them at your leisure. So remember, you are not as stuck as you feel. And should you feel stuck, then maybe it is time to explore new opportunities. So this is for people um, <clears throat> who, <clears throat> excuse me, who are either in relationships and you're trying to, um, you know, get this to the le next level, get this sorted, reflect on how long have you been trying to do this and is it really working, right? Um, and also the way I always um, understand these readings is um, when the guides give me stuff, uh, once you have found that video, it is logically logical to assume that, that you, you, were, you were meant to hear it. But always, I always say to people, take it as, as it resonates, right? If that makes sense. Um, so the other thing is that when you, um, when you have the rabbit, and this, is, this, is, this has to do with the past in your case, um, it's understanding that, that the, the, the rabbit by, by default is what is seen as a vulnerable animal. So it's a, it's a, it's a prey animal, so to speak. And so um, what the guides are saying to you is, right, you may feel vulnerable at times, especially when it comes to your emotional core and how you truly feel. And because there are all these rabbit holes, which means you are building yourself a new future, you are progressing, keep doing just that. So. This sounds a bit low energy-ish. Um, I can't help it, I only work here. Um, but it doesn't have to be low energy at all. It just has to do with your determination. Um, and while this is easier said than done, you know, because there's normally um, stuff attached to, you know, to moving out, it may not be that simple. Um, speaking your truth, speaking your mind may not be that simple, but it is reflecting on what makes it difficult that can bring about the change. And change is important because that's what the rabbit holes denote. Look at all the opportunities, look at all the avenues you could take. So you're Aries, you're the doer. Take one, take them all, okay? And then lastly, when it comes to opportunities, what can come to you, both financial as well as um, when it comes to, to living your life? You have the monkey. The monkey represents the past. And so what is important is, um, because monkeys are also quite, quite agile, you have to be flexible. If you want anything to change for the better, especially when it comes to, to um, you know, um, your, 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 your living conditions, you have to be flexible. Really, really important. You don't necessarily have to only do what you already know how to do, if that makes sense. There's a lot of change, energetically speaking, in the air um, of this reading for Aries. And, and the, the, the point that I'm trying to drive home here is always the same for Aries. You may have massive issues asking for help simply because you are the first sign. But a lot of people look to you and at you for comfort because they know you have strengths. And all the universe is saying, well, you possess all the strengths you need, but you need to be flexible. And then again, because the monkey represents the past, what I'm getting here as an, as an image is literally um, someone who is making chairs um, and anybody, everybody else sort of uses machines. Yes, the handmade chair is so much more beautiful. <laughs> but the point the guides are driving home is that, that you know, maybe it is time to either understand that whatever it is your, your passion is, may not sustain you in that shape or form and there has to be progression right um but first and foremost this is about reflecting where do i feel stuck uh, in order for you to make any changes right so aries that's all i got for uh, november 2022 um like i said it is a um quite a powerful month um and so, so there shouldn't be too much low energy yet. The energy of your reading here is low. And so just be aware that there might be some sluggishness in the months for you. And uh, your job is to not give up. Okie dokie. See you next month. Bye bye.